Hi, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to search the records using Node.js and React. So here, if I create the, if I, uh, if I searching the record by the name, I am going to create, I am going to search by the wrong name. Here, search user not found. Here, if you are type the correct name, here this is the name, click search here. The respective records will be displayed below. Now, if I am going to create type this one name here, it will be displayed. Now, if you are type the wrong result, user not found here, user not found, right? If you are type the correct result only, user will be able to get it. Okay. How to make this system step by step? We will teach using the back end. We are using Node.js. Front end we are using React. Let me see. The search. Search not JS. Inside the folder, I am going to create new project. So I am going to type cmd code. Sorry, uh, new, here you have to type the create a new project of not JS. So you have to type npm init. Press enter key, enter key, enter key, enter key. This all need, we don't need them. We have this one, we have to generate the package with JSON file. Right. Now let's open on the VS code that code space dot. Right, this project is open on the VS Code engine. Right. Now let's close it. This one, you no need them. Right. Now here, this is package.json. Now here, I'm going to create the uh, file. So this one, I'll server dot js. Right. The simple file I have created. Right. Now, after that, I'm going to install the relevant dependent. This first dependence, I'm going to install it here. Uh, server express server that's the first dependent so you have to type apm i express keep in your mind this is a server which will be help you to implement the uh, server okay press enter key on your keyboard right so after that after installed completed you have to go to the website which is a npm express here they will be here this one the npm express right installing express where's the it's a package installation right so here how to implement the package all the things they are explaining to you so just copy this code if you go to the here here it will be explained how to install not npm if you are type on the Google search MPM I here MPM Express, you can this is the code your installation. After that, how to works, you just copy this line. We will just copy this line. Oh, this is the this is simple code. Uh, if you want another site, which will provide the deep uh, it will be simple you have to install it uh, in Express. Look at Express JS. Yes. Okay, oh, this one. If you click on this, okay, get started with the hello world here this has much here, here. how the port all the port works all the things are there so here we are implemented here right so this one i am going to change the codes here concern this one should be i will change as server i'm going to set the server support support the server right so this is server uh, I'm going to server. This one should be also going to server app. This is not app. This is server. I'm going to change this also. All of these are server. Right. So, what is the error will be? Export. Right. Export. Right. Sorry. Here, this is a problem. Is if you just copy it, paste it over here, the problem is right. I have a, this missing one bracket. That's why it's error there. Okay, here I'm going to change as this a server. Copy it. This one also I'm going to change the server. So right. I'll be explaining it. First, you have to implement the package which is a express, which is a server. Okay, the server, we have to create the object which is a this is a express. We have to uh, create the object of server. Okay, the server use this server to create the port. So server, there is a property called listen. Here we have created the 
out using the arrow function. You have to use the arrow function. Okay, so here example here we have to write uh, out. You have to get express sport. You have to write like this. Okay, now let's uh, see whether it's working fine or not. Let me check it. Save all. Type not server dot yes. Ah, okay, the problem is already this run the portman here. I already uh, saw the example. This, the, that example also the port is the same. Okay, so the real be change the port and run it. Right. Now here it's running. E express port. Okay, running express port. So it's your right success too. Again, I cannot see. Right, it's working. So sorry. If you change anything, you have to must save all. Then only you have to, it will be applied here. Express port successfully for thousand is assigned successfully. Right, perfect. Now after that, control C. I have to install the node man. So how to install the node man? So write node man. Node man, which is a save dev. You have to write like save dev. It's very important. Save dev. But go over here. Don't install it this one. We have to put this dependency uh, into your dev dev dependency. So here you have to select this one, this option. Okay. So let's back to our project. This way our project. Go to the package.json. If you are normally you have to install it, it's coming here. Right? So we have to we have to put it as a development dependency. So you have to okay, you can install it and check it. Now here it will be created as a dev, dev dependencies, right? That's the development field. Okay, here dev dependencies is created. It it is a, another dependency. It will be. You have to put like this. This is the efficient way to run the node man, right? After done the stuff, if it is all are correct, will run the project using. Here after we have to run the project as not node server not js. You have to write if you have installed the node man, you have to type npm start right here you have to npm start uh, your server is running now let's test that so here yeah. right. let's test that back here uh, it's working fine or not the port is low cost port is 400 however it is displayed this allowed is displayed from here. This allowed. If you change any text like this and save all and back it over here. Right. Why this change is not explained? Here, what happened is here not man is here the server is connecting, but the once you change it, the change is not applied. The problem is what is this here is scores again the for package.json. We have to do the simple stuff inside the script. You have to start, you have to write start. We haven't the script, we haven't do it anything else. Node man, we have to haven't write it here. Node what is the file server.js server.js file save all control C. Let's check it back again. Not npm start. Now you will be able to see the server start. Okay, here not 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 one. Not one. This one. That's why it's not man. Save all. Now let's refresh them. NPM start. Now here, it's now the node man is run. After that, we have to establish a database connection of uh, MongoDB. So here, this one. So how to establish the database connection? Uh, we have to install the Mongoose package. So type NPM 
install mongos you have to write a version 6.20 right this is a latest version you have to install them this is a mongos dependency you have to install them but after install them you have to import the packages this is the required packages for mongos Right, that Mongoose dependency installation successfully. We'll see Mongoose is installed. Now let's back to server the Mongoose. Right, Mongoose, you have a after install dependency, you have to imp implement the Mongoose pack classes over here. After that, what I'm going to do is here, uh, I'm going to go to you have to add the database connection. So, database connection, you have to write like this copy it. So, database connection, Mongoose set 6 to. Uh, mongoose connect this is the database uh, local loss this is a port db score which is a database name uh, this one should be the true case of true right so if there is no error it will be corrected successfully if there is any error it will be passing there this error we have to pass it over here but pass it over like this right perfect okay now this one we don't need them at the moment here to remove it right that's it now let's check them whether the database connectivity is succeed or not. Now we have to, another thing is we have to do it. After done the stuff, uh, we have to connect with these two things, uh, express uh, JSON, this one, use it. So this one should be the server, server use express JSON, you have to write this one. And it will be working, now let's save all. Now we have to run it, sorry. Yes, running. It already run. So, what is the problem? Server. Uh, sorry, here is server. Server like this. So that's the problem. Right. Now let's. This is the term here. This is the power cell data. We have all the dependency are installed. You have to back to your server uh, node. Here, Control C again. You have to run the project. Until start. Uh, what is the error? Server. Where is server? Right, you have save all. We didn't save all it. Right now, it's successfully. Now it's working. Uh, now, here yeah, the DB connect connected successfully, the port connected successfully, both are connected successfully. Right, perfect. Now, after that, we are doing the route section. So, I'm going to make the folder which is a Node.js uh, folder which is a can create as routes. You have to manage all the routes over here. Right, after that, you have to create another folder. Which is sorry, not here. We have to remove this one. Right. Now to create a web folder above here. So here we have to create a folder SRC. Inside the SRC folder, I'm going to create another folder, which is a uh, we have to create employee. Right. Two two folders created. Right. Now the resource folder, the routes folder, I'm going to create another folder which is a routes dot js this folder we manage manage all the routes so here i'm what i'm going to do this i'm going to go to uh routes this is a routes so i'm going to copy this one you have to paste it over here so i'll be explaining that in the route also we have to get the var express route express so here we have to in the routes creation you have to start with constant variable constant variable router express here there Express this is the server you have to call it to access the routes router method after that router router method here this is if the url is coming slash user find a find name colon name it will be find the name so find the name if the url is coming it get you it is passing the request to user control find action method user control find action method right the user control find action method we have to create this find user controller inside this here we have src employee here i am going to create the user controller dot js right this is the flow working right after that i am going to create it so if i create if i write it it's to take too much of time that's why i just copy and paste i will be explained don't worry right so here this action method is coming right so if the if you type the request it's passing to here. Here you have to specify the path over here. 
where your uh, user control is resided. Your user control resided. So here, this is a path user control. Okay, so your user control resided. Now you are in route folder. You have to double dot slash. It will back and src inside the src is an employee folder. Employee inside the employee folder you have a user user controller. Right, you have to give the path. Now it goes to the particular path. Get the method action method find one user uh, controller. Get the request. Okay, get the name. What's the name you are finding? Here, here user what is the name you are typing here? It's getting here by the params. It's passing the param over here. Request params it is passing over here. And here the after that what I'm going to do this name. After that we have right we have to create the variable var result avoid we have to avoid function if I assign we have to say avoid so it is passing the user service to find action method this what is the name you are coming here request param name this name what is the name you are typing it's coming here it is passing to this service function right now it's go I'm going to create another file which is a user service that is user service so this entry your user service this is a model view architecture right the user service what i'm going to do is right here simple user service you have to write the user service right user service you have to write user service you have to write get the method find this is a user service method get the request of it get user data this one should be we have to get in user details right so here we have a promise we have to call the promise promise is a very good standard way if you are implement the promise over here if the request is correct it will be resolved if there is any problem it will be reject the request okay so here it will be getting your request right so here user model user model is yeah we didn't create yet so we will be create the user model as well uh we have to create another file user model so the same thing copy this up here use some model dot js here i'm going to create that that thing as well uh use some model as well right this is a user model right it is implemented mangoes okay here this use some model this is schema so this this fair the the table which is employees so you can see the employees so okay the table which is employees this is employees table these are the columns consists of the employee this is the collection not tables the collections name address and phone number these are the collections are there in the mongoose database so here user schema the employees table these are the table uh, column collections okay name address and phone number right we will retrieve the data from here so here what i did here is here let's back to our service here you have to create the object user model user model means this is a user model user model is available this year this user model this user model means this is a schema this schema file we are calling to service so we have to check var uh, model required service means we are get the data from this path so user model dot find what's the name you are typing it is finding the user details so user is we are finding right user details we are finding after that return error and uh, and request if the data is coming uh, without any problem the result will be work without anything problems happen if any problem uh, any error occurred that time it will be rejected okay the promise it will be provide two two things resolve and reject okay this is this is the purpose you have to write the promise if you are write like this inside the code in the promise it's very efficient way to write the program and that's it that's the thing you have to write. Okay, that's a simple stuff you have to get right. Right, so you have here we get the request over here user model, user details. User details mean here what is the uh, data you are passing here, result here you are passing to here. This is this name you are passing to here user details. So the user details, what is the name you are coming here? It is passing here. So find one mean it is finding the data from where user model okay if the name is uh, exist or not if it is exist exist it passing the relevant result to here result it is passing to here it is back to if the result is available 
it is returned to resolve to it's back to our controller here result is sending the result here if there is no result is not not found it get user is not found that's it now let's check all save all what is the required what is the uh, uh, this one should be 400 port we have to force on the same thing there thing is for same thing you have to test it in jc whether it's working fine or not uh why what's the problem jc the url is what's the problem what's the url is problem why let's back the urls right the thing is this let's back to our server we haven't implemented the routes here right okay if you get the routes we are not implemented that's the thing okay route is not working so here routes so the server index here this is the routes the routes is reside on where you have to import it here again you have to import another thing is this is the routes you have to use the routes okay this is server routes right so here here right in, in, in your server.js you have to implement the routes path first your route the here var routes required your route is inside the this folder routes folder okay the server go to the routes folder inside the routes folder we have a routes file okay after that when you call these routes when the required is coming here it passing the user control find action method it calls the controller uh, find action method right find user here what is the name you are typing it getting the name and passing to the find user db service so it retrieving the name user retrieving the name over here okay and passing to here and check it okay passing and checking user model means this user model is passing the schema user model and if the record is available in the database it will be resolve it passing the uh, function resolve and back to your uh, controller here and produce the result if there is any error it it will be sending the error user not found right so let's back and check it again now here file save all uh nodeman crash what happened user service can't find user service okay user service right right here this one should be i will name it to user service uh here the more here the controller this is user services that's right user service this one not a service service to user service right now let's it's successfully it's coming successfully now let's back it and check it okay we have to write uh, some of the name over here click send here username not found so if you are type this uh, correct username uh, name you have to find it kish type it over here here what the name you are matching record will be display and show into the uh, show it here right status to now i'm going to search another record from the collection this one right it's working perfectly well backend application will be finished now here if i go to at the front end we have to connect with this uh, search functionality so you have to use these two things right you have to use this cross this dependency you have to type okay you have to connect, connect this the dependency out of that we have to install that right in order to use the api so you have to write you have to type here npm i cross right press enter key the dependency will be get installed that's the thing you have to write then only the dependencies get installed but right? this is the thing you have to write right so after that what i'm going to do is create it with installing after that after done the stuff what you're going to do is i'm going to work with the front end so i'm going to go to now our back end part we have successfully created now i'm going to see the front end part so front end we have to create one folder okay i'm going to create the one folder which is a this one is the react search front end search. so the better, uh, better experience is you can create the folder depend on your project right that project folder you have a, you have to put the front end folder separate front end folder and the back end folder okay so front end front, uh, folder you have to develop the front end project back end folder you have to develop the back end project so the example purpose i have created the uh, folder outside right 
So here I'm going to first I'm going to create the react app. So you have to type the cmd command. So I'm going to create the react app. So you have to type get started react. Click on this. So here you have to create create new app. Here click on this. You are left right hand side. Right? So this is a command. npm create my app. I just copy it. Back to your terminal. Paste it. Here I'm going to this is a front end. Front. front app. Press enter key on your keyboard. You have to wait until the uh, app creation success, uh, completed successful. Now you can see the welcome screen of React. Now let's back to our project. Now here first go to the SRC. Here you can see the go to the public folder. You have an index.htm. This is the React single page application. It called the root. Right. So here it will be go to the src src you can see here index dot dot js here it will be it will be here this this group will be implemented here it will be here you can see here it will be rendering the app app component it will be rendering the app component app component is resided here see, this is the app component here this is the welcome page it will be shown up it will be rendering and shown up the right uh, Welcome page. This is a welcome page. Now here, this all the text I am going to get rid of these lines. All things I get rid of this. Now I am going to write it here. H1. You write it here. Hello. Control I should save. Back to your browser here. Hello. It will successfully display the message. Right. It's wor working perfect. What, what we expect. Where now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to do the thing is I'm going to go to create a new component. So select the SRC folder. I'm going to create select a new folder. Here I'm going to this called folder. I'm going to name it as components. Components. Right. This components folder. Right click new. I'm going to uh, create the file which is search. Search. Dot js. Right now here, here I'm going to make the design. Right here, I'm going to make the design over here. Right. So uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website Bootstrap. Bootstrap. Go to the official site. We need the Bootstrap style. So we'll get the Bootstrap style over here. Only we have to need a Bootstrap min.css this file. Right, we have to get the result right so click on this back to your uh, uh back to your index.html page inside the attack you have to implement it so that tag you have to implement it control file save all we have to implement it right after that what i'm going to do is go to the app.js here uh you already paste the uh, style now I'm going to go to the app.js, right? So here, 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 this one, I'm going to get rid of these lines. I have to import this one, this search.js. This file should be, I have been the app is loaded, this one, this, this one should be loaded. So how to load, so write search. So before that, what you're going to do is, we have to go here, this same app, app.js, the same thing, I just copy it, paste it over here. I'm, I'm going to name it as this one search. This one should be, you have to paste it as default here, search. Right. Now, what I'm going to say, go to here, dot yes, you have to paste here. You have to call it just search. Here, it will be coming. Here, it will be coming. Perfect. Right. Right. Now, what, what is the thing you have done, done it here? It will be rendering the app dot yes, it's working. Right. Now, here, First, I'm going to make the design. So design also I already made, right? This is all design. So you don't worry about that. This also is what I provide you. I'll be explained. So if I write and explain, then it take too much of time to complete the project. So I just copy it, this one, and sorry, right, sorry, here. Right, inside the return. 
here to page it over here. Right. So here, this is not that much of hard code. This is simple HTML file. Okay, here is a it has an adding tag. So here h1 student details setting. After that, we have to create the div tag again. This is a container div. This div as a form. This form is started and form is closing. Right. Okay, the form is closing. Right. It, 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 this form consists of only one field. Okay, what is the field? That is a student name. Okay, student name field. Okay, student name where we search the record. Okay, it has a label, it has an input field. What is the name you are entering here? The matching details should be displayed. So here, on chain, set name here, what is the name you are entered here? It will be produced the uh, respective details on the below text fields. Right. That's the thing you have to write here. Right. So when you click the search button, it will be it will be done. Right. So here, what's the name you are typing on the particular text field? It will be here, it will be on chain. Here it will be it will be store this name set name set name function right in this react what is set name mean in react if you store the value it will be maintain the state right it will maintain the state it called as use state so what you're going to do is i'm going to go to inside the function i'm going to create the states without a state we can't do anything else. i'm going to copy this line i'll be explain don't worry about that right don't worry about that right so here i'm going to paste inside this function right perfect now what I'm going to do is I have to implement this name uh, classes. And you use use state and access class of your import. Right. That's it. Now let's file save all. I'll be explaining. You can see here. Uh, we have we, in order to maintain the state, we have to write the constant use state. Okay. So here we have a name, address, and phone number. So here what you are going to do is here you have to set uh, set name, set address, and set phone number. Right, we have to maintain the state. So here first, this is set name, one state, set address, and set phone number. So after that, after the form, we have to create two fields. First one should be the address. This one should be the address field. Another one is a phone phone number field. Right. So these are the two fields we have created. We have filled to the two fields we have created. So what I did here is after that, what I'm going to do is first. What is the name you are type on this text field? Click search button. What happen is it will be goes to this name. This value will be goes to here. Here. What is search function? So this here, this is a on click method search. It's called search function and get the get the name. This is the backend UR. Yeah, UR. Right here. If you are code the search uh, front end, you can see this is UR, right? This URL you have to type like this. Fresh appropriate record result will be displayed so if you are wrong it will be getting the user not form that's the thing i am using so here find slash name what is the name you are getting name it will be load up the appropriate result into rs this one we have, we have to check the, check through the console if the name is coming out or not right if the name is successfully coming it will be if the name is success if, you are, if your result is success what happen is it will be uh, respective uh, employee details should be display on the below text field. So set address, set phone number. Here yeah, this is the this how we have write the states. These states we have to call it here. Rs data dot address, rs data data dot phone. Right? You have to get the data. Right? You have to write that default it comes as rs data. You have you have already have a, another thing is here. It's a data. That's why you have two data there, right here. It's a data, right? So here, already we have get the data. In you have to check through like this. Console data. Then only you will be get the data. If you get the name, you have to get data data. Right. So here, to get rid of like this line, you will be able. You can now understand. You have understand. Now let's run the project and check. But the output should be. Uh, can't all right. What the problem is, we have to the response, the re restful request, we have to implement that stuff. We have to, we have to put the terminal again. I'm going to install npm i xo6. 
this is this is the part you must install the dependency because if you are in, if you are not installed we can't send the restful api so that we have import this exosius dependency right that's the thing you have to import it right perfect well now let's check it whether it's working now you are able to see the output now if you are type the different one you not found if you are type the correct username name find the result right so what happen is here you will see first before run that you have to install the exos here that's the problem right okay so here what's the name you are typing it goes to here getting the name and here it will be producing the output if the if you type the uh, if the name is not exist in your database username not found it will be getting this error right this one i have set it this error in my backend here so you have to use data you have to write username user not found you have set it over here so rest data data user found. then the alert message will be displayed at the same time your text box need to clear that's the thing you have to explain it here i hope you guys understood so far thank you for watching